Create custom looking blocks that you can place down in your world without ever having to open up Photoshop. Hello everybody and welcome to OMG Craft. I'm your host, OMG Chad. Today we're gonna be looking at a tool that allows you to create your own textures for your own blocks without requiring you to open up any type of photo editing program or know how to create a resource pack or anything. You just have to download a simple resource pack and then you use this tool to create your blocks. So let's jump in. So here we are and this is the tool that we will be showing off, the codecrafted.net block designer. Now, a little bit, uh, this may change in the future, but at the moment, I've already noticed a few bugs. This is what uh, the block designer looks like on Firefox. This is what it looks like on Internet Explorer. And this is what it looks like on Chrome. It's not even there. Uh, when moving around Windows for uh, this episode, actually, I realized that if you take the bottom and drag this up, oh, look at there. <laughs> There's the block that we wanted. So uh, we're gonna have to kind of show off a little bit of Minecraft in the background. I can go ahead and close out of uh, Internet Edge or Explore Edge or whatever it is. Um, there you go. So you're gonna see a little bit of Minecraft down here at the bottom of the frame so that we can see the block 100%. <laughs> it's like it zooms off into space there, which is pretty cool. So this is what you're gonna look like when you first uh, load up the page. And first you have a little menu over here to save what you are currently using down in a history down here. So if I hit save block, you'll see that block right down here. Generate the command, which will open up a new tab or a new window with the command for how to get this block in your game and download the resource pack, which you will need to do. So go ahead and just click download resource pack. It's gonna download for you and then install it over here in Minecraft resource packs right here. If you don't know where this uh, folder is, you can click the resource pack folder right there. Uh, so that does need to be a step that you complete. So now you can make whatever type of block you want. Now you can't do anything like add furnace commands or uh, maybe crafting table stuff, but you can change the appearance of the block in a lot of different ways. You have three different layers. So you may notice a lot of these base textures are things that you may recognize. This one looks a lot like smooth stone. This looks like andesite. Uh, this one kind of looks like the uh, sandstone that the edge and bottom of the sandstone. You got logs, you got log tops, diamond stuff. So you can choose that base texture and then you can choose a color that you would like to tint that texture. So you could really choose anything at all. Uh, let's go ahead and build some really neat building blocks. How about that? Let's start off with the maybe smooth stone. There are just, yeah, smooth stone texture. Let's do a blue and let's make it really dark, like a really cool dark blue. And then we can add another texture on top of that. So let's do some of these bricks, but let's make it look really neat. So we'll make it look really crazy and cyan or maybe yellow, maybe green. I like the cyan look actually quite a lot. Uh, and you can even have this glow. See how this sort of looks like the enchanted colors and see how they're glowing? That looks really, really cool. So let's keep uh, that look. And then if you want to, you can add even an extra thing on top. So if you wanted it to be maybe the vined version of this, you could add some, uh, some vines, you could add some long grass or some short grass on top. If you wanna get rid of that, by the way, I accidentally made that glass grow by clicking away. If you wanna get rid of this right off to the side, you'll notice that there's an empty spot, so you can just uh, click away. So let's make a few different variations of this block design. Let's go ahead and click Save Block. So that is now in our history, so we can get back to it later. So we could go back to this original block or back to this block with all of our options set. Maybe let's make something that looks a little bit like dirt, possibly. Here we go. It kind of looks like dirt, and we'll put uh, put that right there on top. There you go. Kind of. <laughs> it's like a weird, very weird piece of dirt. Let's go ahead and generate that. Uh, sorry, save that block. Now let's make maybe something that would look like wood. So we'll do the wood background. Uh, we can do some sort of, there we go, a plank, and then get rid of this. We'll save that block. 
then let's do a really cool or looking thing. So we'll br bring that in. We'll bring the or back. That looks cool. There's a whole bunch of different things that we can do. Um, or, you know, of course, just some, some type of building block. Let's do that. Let's do maybe something like that. <laughs> These are going to look really cool, I'm telling you. So once you're happy with all the blocks that you build, and of course you, you, don't, you don't have to keep, maybe this one has uh, red, red cyan stuff. You can do whatever you want. Uh, it's t completely up to you. So then once you want this block in your world, click on the block that you want from your history and click generate command. It's going to open up this window. You're going to select all that and hit copy. There you go. And then jump back over into Minecraft. You're going to have to give yourself a command block. There you go. And place that on the ground and place that command right inside. I like to hit always active just so I don't have to get another uh, piece of redstone and, and, and activate it. Now you'll notice that uh, a whole bunch of commands just fired and I have a second command block in my inventory. And this command block actually creates that block, which once you place it down, which is uh, pretty cool. Using amazing NBT stuff. So you can see that we have this really neat design. It has that incredible, that just absolutely crazy cyan, uh, and uh, the uh, really interesting enchanted look to it. And then let's say, you know what? I really, really badly want uh, want something more. I need, uh, I need one of those other blocks that we created. So we're back here at the command. We're gonna close out of that tab. And let's say, uh, gosh, I, need, I want this or right here. That looks really cool. So let's generate that command, copy it, paste it back over here. You need to put down a new command block, put it down. Paste it in there, always active, done. And you can see that now I have three in my inventory. Let's place a few of these on top. That looks very, very enchanting. Incredible. So that is how you can add any block that you create, that you design yourself into Minecraft. And that could be really cool if you're doing some sort of uh, let's play, maybe a story-driven let's play where you need some type of block that doesn't exist and it needs to look super duper epic, kind of like the ones that I made here. And you can just keep on going and you'll get a new command block for each uh, one of these that you uh, want to put down. You also give them to other people. All I did right there was middle click uh, to get uh, another, another block there. And I got a whole stack so other people could uh, could try to, to do this as well. I would suggest that they were opt-in in creative mode. That would most likely uh, be the best option for them. But there you go. Two more things. First off, this is amazing that this can be done in vanilla. All you have to do is have that resource pack um, activated. And second of all, this uh, does require a little bit of resources for every block because it's using spawners with armor stands to generate the texture around that block. If you have a ton of these in your world, it could, I'm not saying that it has for me, but it could lag your world. So use them, I would say, sparingly. You don't want to make a castle out of them or anything like that. But that about wraps it up for this episode of OMG Craft. Make sure you check the description down below for a link to the uh, tool that we used in this video. And make sure that you subscribe for future videos. Give this video a like and make sure that you leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. See you next time on OMG Craft. Bye.